What's happening guys, it's Vazna Akwal for iG Android In and uh, today we're gonna finally review the Micromax Canvas HD. Now uh, we have been using the A116 for a couple of days, actually it's been about 14 days uh, since uh, we got our hands on with this device and uh, we must say that we are really impressed with what all Micromax has done and what a long way the company has come from the original A60 that we were the first ones to bring to you guys as well. So uh, we've had this relationship with Micromax where we are able to bring you devices and uh, show you their products and uh, we wish and we hope that we can continue to do this in the future. Uh, but in this whole period, I have personally been able to see the way uh, Micromax has evolved from a basic phone manufacturer to somebody or a company uh, that has become a force to reckon with in the industry. So uh, let's get over all those facts and get on with the Micromax Canvas HD, the A116. Uh, let's talk about the build quality of uh, the product first and foremost. So on the front of the display or on the top of the display is something called Layer Protect which is a replacement for Gorilla Glass uh, that you see on uh, other devices uh, such as Samsung phones and HTC phones. So this is a sort of toughened glass protection that will protect your uh, front screen from shattering really easily. But you also have a nice uh, 2.1 megapixel camera in the front, you have the earpiece over here and uh, you have the three buttons required for Android at the bottom of the display. Now we have a nice uh, 5 inch display that is a 720p display which is really nice, you have an HD display on uh, this device. Apart from the fact that it is an HD display, uh, you also uh, will need to know that it has a really high PPI which is 294 pixel per inch which is extremely nice for a 5 inch display. Uh, it is also an IPS LCD screen, so viewing angles are phenomenally good on a phone that costs only 13,000 rupees or 13,500 rupees or 13,900 rupees depending on which state you're buying it in. If we turn the device around, uh, you'll be able to see we have an 8 megapixel camera at the back which does do full HD video. Uh, we were able to capture a video sample and show to you guys as well so you can check out our video uh, sample on uh, YouTube as well. You will be able to see that the design element of uh, the phone is quite reminiscent of uh, the design element of the One X Plus. So on the back, it almost looks identical. You have the speaker grill at the bottom and you have the curved sort of uh, back. And it is also a mix with the Galaxy S3. So if you look at all three devices, it looks like you fuse these two together and you get something like uh, the Canvas HD. So essentially at the back we have an 8 megapixel camera, full HD video, you also have dual LED flash uh, which is in here. It actually is a single flash that uh, disperses into a dual flash that does a good job of lighting the subject. And uh, you have the Micromax logo. The back panel honestly looks really nice and glossy but at some angles it looks like it has faded or the color has changed. It's got the pearlescent white color. So if you are looking at light reflecting through it, you'll be able to see yellow on one side and white on one side. That may not look nice to some people, uh, but it does look elegant if you look at it uh, directly from the front. So it looks nice in that manner. Uh, on the top, you have the 3.5mm headphone jack and the micro USB connector which are both on the top of the device. On the right is the power lock and unlock button and on the left is uh, the volume rocker. Uh, for the device. So the phone uh, looks really well designed. It looks a lot more expensive than it is. Uh, the only thing that gives it away is uh, the Micromax logo which is at the bottom of the back and that's about it. Nothing else can tell you that this is a phone that is actually a budget phone. Let's talk about the insides of the device. Now we do have a MediaTek MT6589 chipset, 1.2 gigahertz uh, quad core processors. You also have a PowerVR SGX544 GPU and we have a 2000 milliamp hour battery on uh, the device. Uh, the total weight of uh, the phone is 156 grams, which is slightly on the heavy side. And um, we have a total of four gigabyte of inbuilt storage out of which about 1.7 gigabyte is user available. And we have one gigabyte of RAM on the device. So that is a total look at uh, the hardware on uh, the Canvas HD. Let's talk about software. So in our day-to-day -day usage, we found that the phone performs really well. Uh, you have your Android OS layout, uh, a couple of customizations done by Micromax. So you have uh, a nice uh, notification panel that lets you turn on Wi-Fi, etc., Bluetooth, GPS, all of those things. Uh, from the top over here, uh, you also get your notifications over here. Your SIM card information is also available over here. Uh, you have Google now inbuilt into the device, so that's good. That is something that will allow you to uh, utilize 
the Jelly Bean interface uh, directly from the device. You do have a couple of applications that are pre-installed but I don't see you using most of them anyway. So uh, you'll be going on to the Google Play Marketplace and downloading several applications from the Android store. So in terms of interface, we have a basically vanilla interface with a couple of customizations done by Micromax. Uh, you can see that you have a custom dialer. Depending on what SIM card you want to make a phone call uh, from, you can choose that over here. Uh, similarly for sending messages, uh, you have a selection for what SIM card you want to use uh, to send a message. So that's how you will select how you will send your message. Uh, you have a total of five home panels on uh, the device and uh, you can customize them by adding uh, separate wallpapers, live wallpapers. Let me see if I can put the black hole wallpaper and if you put it on the back you'll see that it runs really well, no lag whatsoever on the device. Uh, you can also add shortcuts or widgets directly from uh, this section over here. You can jump to widgets over here and add your own set of widgets or you can use custom widgets or preloaded widgets uh, from the device as well so that's nice uh, you can download widgets or you can install widgets you'll notice that the google now or the google search bar remains on top throughout so that's good uh, you do have a couple of applications that micromax adds so you have m live m store and m zone you also have the hookup uh, messenger which is a free messenger you get all those uh, directly on the device so if you're interested in using those you can if we talk about phone call capability, we found that the networks were really solid. Uh, we didn't uh, find any issues with the networking capabilities uh, of the device and we were pretty happy with the way the phone handles phone calls. There is a little bit of distortion in the earpiece, but that could be because of networks, but we've not faced it with any other device. Uh, so one needs to really understand why uh, this phone goes into that situation. If we talk about uh, networks on this uh, device, again, we have uh, for uh, 2G bands, we have GSM 900 and 1800 and for 3G, we have HSDPA 2100. So it will work in most countries. It works on all carriers in India and uh, it does work on uh, T-Mobile in the USA as well as UK, Optus and Vodafone in Australia, New Zealand, uh, Bell in Canada, among many others in uh, several other countries, including Brazil, etc, etc. So Micromax is prevalent in many countries nowadays and uh, this phone works in a lot of them. One more issue that uh, Micromax has uh, resolved with the Canvas HD which uh, most people were facing uh, with the previous generation of uh, Canvas was uh, the AGPS location. So if you go into GPS satellite settings you can turn on all your GPS information and uh, once you do that uh, the device will be able to locate you directly where you are and it works really well. So it does triangulate you on exactly where you are and that is wonderful it works really well on uh, the canvas HD and we are currently indoors most devices have issues uh, getting our location indoors uh, but the canvas HD does it without any problems whatsoever if we talk about the display we have a really nice and crisp uh, 720p display it plays videos really well and our video playback is really smooth uh, for the most part and it will play back full HD video you will have brilliant viewing angles and we have a really nice uh, speakerphone it's not the best speakerphone uh, that you can get uh, but it's a decent speakerphone so we are really happy with it so we are going to quickly play back a video uh, that I shot in Sydney uh, for the HTC one and you'll be able to see what wonderful viewing angles uh, there exist on this device quickly let it buffer up and you can see that almost from any viewing angle uh, watching this video is really easy Uh, you can see that the colors are really nice and vibrant and really accurate and uh, this is exactly how it looks on the device as well. Uh, volume on videos played back from YouTube uh, is uh, slightly low but if you do play back a video on uh, the native video player, volumes can be adjusted. So you have a fairly loud speaker but you need to adjust it according to your requirements. Uh, so that's uh, a quick look at a display and video playback on uh, the Micromax Canvas HD. If you talk about gaming, you should take a look at our gaming video 
on uh, the Canvas HD. We were able to run most of the games without any issues. Uh, we did face a issue with uh, games that are larger than 1.6 gigabyte in size. Uh, that's simply because we don't have enough storage space on the device. So games like Nova 3, uh, Asphalt 7, um, Modern Combat 4, and uh, several other games that are really large in size did not install on this. And we feel that Micromax is really, really lost out on this opportunity. They have done almost everything that we required for this device. I've uh, every time I have spoken to Micromax in their previous releases, I've asked for more RAM, I've asked for a better display and uh, they have delivered a really beautiful display, they have delivered RAM, uh, but the one thing that they really missed out on was internal storage. So this is what I say, that they should add extra storage, they should give us at least 8 gigabyte of uh, usable storage, uh, even if they charge us a thousand rupees or so extra for the device. So instead of 13,000 uh, Micromax, make it 14,000, but give us the 8 gigabyte of inbuilt storage, uh, which will really help us uh, use the device and really use uh, games and other applications that require a lot of inbuilt storage. If you talk about battery life on this device, initially when we started using this phone, we were using it really, you know, in depth, we were trying out uh, games, we were trying out the internet, and battery life was on the low side, we were charging it about twice a day. But after about a week's usage, I was able to cut down on uh, the excitement and uh, I was able to see that battery life is actually pretty good. When I compared it with the battery life on the Canvas 2, I saw that we have an impressive improvement on the Canvas HD. We have at least a good 5 to 8 hours uh, of uh, talk time on a 2G, about 6 hours of talk time on 3G, which is absolutely brilliant. I was able to play music for about 10 hours on a straight stretch, 2 hours of video playback on an average, and a good 5 hours of internet browsing on this device, which is really, really nice. That is all these things done separately, but if you use them in a day, you get about 3 hours of talk time plus 1 hour of internet usage, so Facebook, Twitter, etc. included and about 30 minutes of gaming, an hour of video, a couple of uh, hours of music and uh, you still have about 18 to 20 percent of battery left at the end of the day. That is really good for this device, especially considering the fact that it has a 720p display, so which consumes a lot of battery. Uh, but you can see that uh, it looks nice, it works well, and overall battery life on this device is good. So in conclusion guys, uh, what I feel is that Micromax is really delivered in terms of hardware. We have everything in this device. Uh, the operating system is something that Micromax could have fixed. There are a couple of bugs, people are reporting a couple of crashes with several applications. And that's because of uh, the lack of stability in the user interface. Uh, if you have something like TouchWiz that is really refined or uh, even HTC Sense or even Sony's user interface that is really customized and designed uh, by companies to ensure that it runs stable on the hardware, Micromax does not do anything like that as of now. I'm pretty sure they're working on a uh, user interface of their own. Uh, but they don't as of now. So a couple of uh, applications will crash. Uh, the phone, however, has been quite nice. Uh, it is really fast and responsive. And I've been able to use it without much worries. It did crash on me a couple of times while using the camera as well. Uh, so that is something uh, that people would need to know. The camera is uh, really nice. Uh, I'm going to talk about the camera a little bit. Uh, we have a really nice camera that shoots full HD video, which is really nice. You also have HDR photography. Uh, so you can capture that. You can also add some filters on uh, your video. So that's uh, good. You can also go into a couple of settings over here. I mean, they have really enhanced the camera application. Uh, you get good uh, images. You can also focus. It has tap to focus. You can see how easy it was to focus on uh, the subject. Uh, it's really nice. You can select whether you want flash on or off directly from here. You can also switch to the front facing camera. Uh, directly from here as well. Uh, the front camera also does video, it does not do full HD video. Uh, the rear camera does full HD video and it does it really well. You also have a microphone on the back of the device uh, that captures audio while you're capturing video and uh, the audio capture while you're capturing video is also good. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with what Micromax has done. A big oversight by Micromax is the lack of internal storage. Uh, if we can root this device and we are really trying hard to root it, there are a couple of um, tutorials available online. Do not try them because uh, we did try them with another device that is completely bricked and it's not working anymore. So do not try uh, unverified 
tutorials there are some available on XD as well and they will completely ruin your device and most probably Micromax will not service or give you warranties for those so we are trying to root this device and we will give you a confirmed report if we are able to do it and if we are able to find a proper route for this device uh, we will uh, give you the information and once you do that you'll be able to install applications like link to SD uh, all you need to do is format your SD card uh, with an ext4 file system and then you'll be able to transfer games onto that then at that point of time this phone will become absolutely perfect uh, because then all games will work on it without any issues so there you go guys uh, we feel for a price of 13,000 rupees or 13,000 to 14,000 rupees if you can live with a couple of crashes a week I, I say about one or two crashes a week and if you can live with the fact that Micromax has been in the past associated with being a cheaper phone uh, versus uh, something like a Samsung then I think this is the best phone that you can buy under the 15,000 price bracket this is absolutely genius phone it is a wonderful phone it does great multitasking it has a beautiful display it has an excellent camera so you have a mix of everything and the fact is that it's under 15,000 rupees and nothing beats it as of now I'm sure companies Indian companies like carbon lava several other companies are working on uh, competition devices but no one has come out with a display that is actually this great and uh, the quad core processor on this is also a first for Indian manufacturers or budget phone manufacturers so it is a budget smartphone but it does not work like a budget smartphone it works really well uh, the comparison of the processor is uh, really detailed you can check out our full detailed review on igan.in you will really appreciate it give it a read guys uh, check out the link it's linked on the video right now uh, if you have any questions or queries you can leave them in the comment section below or catch us on facebook twitter google plus do subscribe to us on youtube youtube.com slash igan youtube.com slash igan tv and until i see you next time guys this has been bharat thank you guys for watching